We have learned the local pastor suing Whole Foods over a gay slur on a cake was sued himself just last month. And today we obtained a copy of the lawsuit claiming Jordan Brown defaulted on a $27,000 student loan. KXN's Aaron Cargile spent this afternoon and the evening trying to reach Brown and his attorney. That's right. Here is the student loan lawsuit that we got from the Travis County Clerk's Office today. I just called Brown again right before this newscast. His phone is still going straight to voicemail. I've also emailed, sent a Facebook message, and we've left multiple messages with his attorney today. You know, we have not seen or heard from either of them since Monday when they called this pre press conference to get the cake story out. Even after Whole Foods filed their countersuit Tuesday and released this video right here. They say proves Brown was lying about the cake. We heard nothing. One of our reporters even went to his attorney's office, was waiting in the lobby, could see the cake through the window sitting on a conference table, and someone came out and uh, said they were still reviewing the Whole Foods video and had no comment. This afternoon, I went to Brown's address listed on the student loan lawsuit. It's the Amley apartment complex here on East Riverside. It is also the address Brown lists on his church website. It says the Church of Open Doors meets in the Amley social hub. While we were getting these shots of the outside of the complex, a manager walked out and told me Brown's church does not meet there. Now, as far as this student loan lawsuit, it was filed March 11th, claiming Jordan Brown stopped paying on a student loan for the 2007-2008 school year at a university in Pennsylvania, which is his home state. We will continue trying to get answers to watch the entire Whole Foods surveillance video and the pastor's YouTube video. Go to our website, kxan.com.